Have you left your Christmas shopping to the last minute? Do you know any squash players that you still haven't bought a gift for? Or maybe you are a squash player and you haven't told anyone what gift you want. If you're in any of these situations, then this video is perfect for you. Here I'm going to go through a load of great present ideas for any squash player so that you don't have to stress anymore. The first idea we're going to talk about is squash rackets. Now, there are loads of different rackets out there, so I'll help you out a little bit on uh, what I would suggest. Um, and the website I'd go on is PDH Sports. I've used them a lot, I trust them. I've had to send stuff back before and they've easily done it, so I haven't got anything lost and it's all, all gone very smoothly. The rackets I'm gonna recommend, I'll recommend two different ones, one slightly cheaper one, one more expensive one. Uh, the first one's gonna be the cheaper one, and that is the Dunlop Aerogel 4D Elite. Um, now, it's a relatively old racket, um, but still stands the test of time today. It's a great racket and it's only 65 quid. Now, the reason I think that's great is because back when it was new, um, when they were first producing them a while ago, it would have been well over a hundred pounds. So the fact that you can get the same racket for 65 quid, still brand new, just an old, old um, model, um, is really good value uh, for, for a squash racket. And it's as good as any of the modern ones today. Um, the other one, I would say, which is kind of a top seller at the moment, is the Technofiber Carboflex 125 X Top. Um, but that's coming out at more like 150 quid, so it depends what your budget is. Um, but to be honest, I'd probably rather play with the Dunlop. Um, but that's just personal preference. The next one we're going to talk about are shoes. Um, now, with shoes, I would recommend A6 just because. They, well, they're so experienced in the shoe game, they do shoes for basically every sport. And from my experience, they have good durability and good cushioning. Um, so again, we're gonna look at PDH Sport for the first pair I'm gonna recommend, and that's the Asics Blast FF3s. Now they're more, um, what's the word? They're more heavy duty, they're, they're, they're more high-end shoe. Um, they're more of a high-end shoe, and they're coming at 120 quid which is obviously quite expensive for a pair of shoes, um, but their durability will be better than a lot of others. Um, but the other thing, the other pair I'm gonna recommend are the Asics Gel Rocket 11s. Um, now, they're not in stock, the men's ones aren't in stock in PDH Sport at the moment, but Sports Direct, they come out at 40 pounds, which is obviously really cheap. Now, they're much lighter weight, so they're actually really great um, for moving quickly, but the durability isn't there which is why a lot of people, they'll get a couple of pairs for 40 quid, so they'll spend 80 pounds on two pairs of gel rockets, because they're still great shoes, but they just don't last as long. Um, so the option really is between one pair of Asics Blast FF3s, um, or two pairs of the gel rockets, or if you have a smaller budget than just one pair of the gel rockets, they're still good shoes. Um, so that's what I'd recommend for shoes. And then we're gonna move on to squash balls. The main manufacturer of balls will be Dunlop, so for double yellow dots and single yellow dots, I'd always buy Dunlop balls. Now at PDH Sports, again, um, a box of 12 Dunlop double yellow dots costs £28. Now, something that people get a bit confused with is if they're looking at getting bouncier balls, let's say um, for winter because the courts are colder, um, they get Dunlop ones. Now the problem is with the Dunlop ones is they're actually bigger and heavier which means I find they don't actually bounce much because they're so heavy on the strings. Um, so if you're gonna get red dots, I'd either go with Caracal or Technofiber. Now on the PDH Sport website, a uh, box of 12 Caracal red dots are 22 pounds. Now, yeah, I'd definitely recommend trying them out because if you're, if you're at a club where the courts are quite cold, a double yellow dot, even if you're a decent player, often doesn't actually get up to temperature. Um, or it might get up to temperature, but because the walls are so cold, um, it still barely bounces. Um, and it definitely doesn't simulate what a kind of a high intensity match would be on a warmer court with a double yellow dot. Uh, so the red dot can kind of fill that in. And I think even a single yellow dot in those scenarios can be a bit dead. Um, so yeah, it depends what your situation is, what club uh, the person you're buying for plays at. Maybe you could drop some hints and ask them um, that sort of question so you get an idea of what they might want um, but yeah that's my recommendation for squash balls now we're gonna move on to grips now grips are important because a lot of people like to replace their grips quite often 
I normally leave mine on for way too long because um, I can't be bothered to have to replace it. That's just me being lazy. But a lot of people replace them every match. Um, so my recommendation, or well, I wouldn't say my recommendation because I don't actually like these grips, but I know a lot of people love them. And that are the, they are the Caracal PU Super Grips. Um, now you can get them at PDH Sport as well. For a box of 24 is 49 pounds. Now you can get less um, than a box of 24. Obviously, I'm not sure how much that would be, but it just depends because some people get through them quicker than others. Um, now, what you can get, which is what I do, are overgrips. Now, overgrips are thinner, and I find them easier to put on. They don't last quite as long, but these ones actually last a really long time. Uh, the ones I'm recommending now, and they don't sell them at PDH Sports, but I found them at Decathlon uh, online, and they are the, the Wilson Pro Comfort Overgrips. Now, a box of 12 of them, or a bag of 12, it's like a little zip-up bag, so it's even better, um, are 20 pounds. So, actually, the value of them is better, although maybe the durability is worse, but to be fair, I find these really durable, really grippy. They're technically tennis grips, but since using them, I get really sweaty hands, and I used to struggle a lot with not being able to grip the racket after the first game, and I used to lose a lot of matches just because I couldn't hold the racket properly. And then now I've started using these other grips, and suddenly that's not a problem anymore. Um, so... I'm very happy with them. So yeah, that, that's uh, it for grips. Um, I think grips are a great gift because you could just buy a couple of them and it's really cheap. So you could get that for anyone. Now we're gonna go for something that's a little bit less conventional and that's sports socks. Now I know some people like getting socks for Christmas and some people don't. So maybe gauge who you're buying for here. But uh, the socks that I use are Under Armour socks. Uh, they're called Under Armour Performance Tech. Um, and you get three pairs of them at, on the Under Armour website for £12, but I'm pretty sure you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere. Um, but they're nice, they're comfy, they seem to last a while. Um, so I'm quite happy with those socks. And then going down the clothing route, uh, shirts and shorts and all that sort of thing. If you want somewhere to get those, then I would recommend iPro Sports. Um, now they do a lot of high quality sports clothing. They also print so you can get whatever design you want on there. You can get your name on the back. Um, so it can be quite a nice gift um, for anyone really because even if they're not a squash player, if they do any sport, you can get a nice personalised top. So I'd definitely recommend them. Uh, basically everything, even this hoodie here is iPro Sports. Uh, you can get all your sponsors on there, whatever. So that's great. The last thing we're going to look at is strings. So with squash strings, in my opinion, Technofiber right now make the best strings. I know some people like Ashaway, but um, you know the durability of Technofiber and the feel of it, I, like it's my favorite. So that's the one I'd recommend. So there's the Technofiber 305, um, which is the green one. Now it's great for control, uh, gives a lot of bite on the ball. Um, a single set of those is £13 and a 200 meter reel, so that's like just over 20 stringings, uh, maybe 21, 22 strings, uh, is £200. And then you've got the Technofiber Dynamics VP um, as well, and that a single set of that is £15 and a, a 200 meter reel is 230 or something like that. Now, PDH Sport have the reels in stock, but the single sets I don't think they have in. But uh, sweatband.com is one that I found that has them for the same price. So if you are interested in getting them, maybe get them from there. There's a chance they're cheaper elsewhere, but that seems like the sort of rate that they've gone for over the last few years. Um, but yeah, I mean, the strings make just as much of a difference as the racket itself. So getting them a racket restring could be a good way to help them improve their game. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I hope that it helped you uh, figure out what to get for people for Christmas and leave a comment saying if you enjoyed the video and some ideas for what I should make content on in the future. See you next time.